All right, everybody, Dower here, out in the workshop again, taking an in-depth look at the Tenshock X802L censored, censorless, sorry, motor. This one's the 1850KV, and I want to open it up and see what makes it tick. Start off by removing these three bolts. Take off the bolts around the outer edge here. All right. Now I did buy this guy used, so I want to check the bearings and all. I've got it all apart and just make sure that everything is a okay in there. Now that is a very big rotor. <laughs> We've got some large bearings in here, relatively speaking, which I'm glad to see. These are out of Indonesia. 2925s, or 2525s. Don't feel too bad at all. It's kind of, I don't know, I kind of expected it to be a little heavier, but it doesn't give me any kind of feeling of real solid solidness and here we have our rotor poles one repulse two repulse three repulse so this is a six pole design See, it's been machined. Looks like we've got some factory markings there. One, two, three, four. I skipped four, actually. I went one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right. Somebody doesn't know how to count. Let's see that bearing down there. It looks like this back end should really just pop right off. see the wires look like they are coming directly off of the motor the motor coils <laughs> flexible though they're flexible can't really cut on these guys but it looks like they may have already been cut at some point if you notice my red is slightly shorter I may have to do a little work there. Very tightly wound. Stator assembly looks to be in nice condition. Very nice there. Bearings. Uh, this one wouldn't really be easy to pop out, would it? Bearing feels good though. Very high quality bearing. As you can see, very high quality bearing. No internal spacers of any sort in here. The bearing's not quite as nice condition as the other one is, which makes sense. This one's probably on a load. So I'll definitely want to watch out for that. Alright. So let me go ahead and reassemble her. Very simple construction. Nothing fancy here, nothing you haven't seen before. So it looks like to disassemble this guy and rebuild it, yeah, there's not much to it. That rear bearing will be a, a bit of a pain to knock out unless you're willing to just punch a hole in the back of this. So not the easiest setup I've seen to rebuild. But for the price and the amount of power you get out of it, I don't think anyone's going to complain. One of these days I really need to build an 8th scale truggy of some kind. I'm going to be curious to see if I can fit this into my slash 4x4 chassis. 
as I have one of the older high center gravity designs, I intend to build a kind of an extended monster truck out of. I have to thank uh, Dr. Isotope for the Dr. Isotope on uh, URC for the idea. I have fallen in love with that Ultra Slashipede. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you go do so because that thing is a beast. Basically, you take a he, t he built it out of a two-wheel drive. I'm going to build it out of a four-wheel drive and see if I can't figure, it, figure out a way to extend it. I'm sure I'll have to do a custom uh, center shaft for it. And i got to figure out how I'm going to split the chassis. I'll probably make a new chassis for it, one that's just bulk compatible with it. So this rotor Okay, the magnets now the rotor itself is bigger than the magnets. The magnet area is all I'm gonna measure. That is forty-five millimeters. The overall length is fifty-five, six, seven millimeters. These magnets are not the strongest things I've ever seen. And we have a 20, 20 and a half, close to 21 millimeter maximum rotor width. These magnets though, honestly, are just, there's, they're, there's a lot of them, but the individual magnets are not very strong. Let's put this back in. I really enjoys doing that though. Line up our bolt holes, and we'll bolt her back down. This being a six pole motor, should have quite a bit of juice. Should be a very, very powerful motor. I expect being a six pole too, it should be fairly, fairly smooth. Unfortunately, I don't know that I have anything that I can actually bolt this into at the moment. So there we go. Ten shock X802L. That's what makes her tick. 1850KV. one eight scale. You know what? Come on, magnet. Work with me. This has an overall case length. Uh, 71, 2, 3, 4 millimeters and a maximum width this is including the 42 millimeters including the the ribs down in between the ribs it is 41 millimeters 40 millimeters sorry so those are about one millimeter with ribs. They'll help cool it. So there you go. Yeah, ten shock X802L, 1850 KV. Uh, non-censored, censorless, if you will.